All right, everyone, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to downgrade your iPhone 5 to iOS 6 tethered. So what you're gonna wanna do is download, well, first, let me just start with the basics. You're gonna need an iPhone 5, a MacBook or, an, or a Hackintosh, at least Mac OS Sierra, or um, sorry, high Sierra, so I'm running the bare minimum. Um, I think Sierra will work. I know Mojave is definitely recommended because you can run, see all those like X's? Like I can run the latest version, but I can't run older versions. So, but but the, I can only run the latest version. That's literally, that's literally the only version I can run. Release candidate three and two. Um, but anyway, the jailbreak for Nightshade um, currently doesn't work at the moment. So if you can downgrade and then you try to jailbreak tethered, which either way it's a tethered downgrade, so yeah, it'll just fail. I mean, it'll work, but it, it'll freeze at like a certain thing. And I actually uploaded an issue on GitHub. So if you go under their issues tab in the first one is me. So if you go under nightshade and then go under issues under their GitHub page, You'll see that it says failed to download and then whatever. I don't know what that word is, but I just copied it from the text on the, on the phone. But yeah, so right now it's in DFU mode. And what you're going to want to do is, def is first download any version of iOS 6. This will work for 6.0, 6.1, even 7 or 8 or 9. I don't know about 10.1 or 10.0. I, I, I don't think it'll work. But it might. Um, the person even said it only works with 9.3.5 and lower. So I've never tried this with 10 point whatever. But either way, 10.3.4, which is the latest this thing runs, there really is no difference between 10.0 and 10.3, whatever. So, I mean, I could be wrong, but. So I'm gonna do 6.1.4. And, uh,. Okay, I selected the IPSW, hit start, and it will do all this fancy stuff. And this is only for Mac, no Windows. And if you do get some errors, it's probably because your Mac is too old. I do have an old MacBook. This is a 2009, late 2009 polycarbonate MacBook. There we go. Now this is tethered, so every time your phone does die, you will need to boot it with this, with this, uh, program and uh, also something else I want to mention to jailbreak you can't use this tool so I use three U tools now you may be wondering because that's an untethered uh, jailbreak how, how do I do it well every time it says waiting for a reboot on three U tools which is just once I quickly unplug it and plug it into this and boot it tethered then I unplug it plug it back into my PC which is which has three U tools waiting for it to reconnect and then it connects and does everything else. So that's how I jailbreak it using three U tools. I will I will do that tutorial, but I don't know if, if the guy is gonna fix the jailbreak because the jailbreak used to work a few months ago. I don't know what happened, but yeah, I guess I'll wait till this is done. So I also forgot to mention if he does fix the jailbreak for iOS seven, the jailbreak I don't know if he's gonna fix that, but if you do downgrade to iOS 7, um, just take the jailbreak with caution. Um, I don't know if it's just, I, I've never tried the jailbreak with this with iOS uh, 7, but as you can see, it is not in DFU right now, it's in recovery. So if I do try to boot tethered without doing anything, as you can see, it says, please put it in DFU. It doesn't even read it, so. In fact, I can't, I have to quit it. So yeah, I'll put that in DFU right now. And now I would show you the jailbreak fail, but if you actually do do it, um, and you and you, you will get the Nightshade app on your home screen, but it will crash. So it'll, so if you plug it into 3U tools, it'll say it's jailbroken, even though the city is not on the home screen. So you can't even jailbreak it with 3U tools. That's right, I'm not even gonna touch the jailbreak option. I'm just gonna boot tethered. And I'm, cause so after I did that, I had to re I had to restore it again. But 
Let's just say it's booting tethered. Yes, and that's the boot tethered part. That is so cool. This quit nightshade. It's also weird because if I if I hit the X on nightshade, it'll it's, it's still running. But then if I click it down here, it doesn't open back up and resume. Like it just I have to manually quit it. Then real it's weird. So uh, yeah, I guess now we just wait. And I will do and I will go over the jailbreak process. Yes. Even with the even though the ringer. Even though it's not on vibrate, it loves to do that. Um, okay, it is on the setup screen. Let me go set it up. All right, everyone. So you see, I have it all set up like this. I am going to jailbreak. I don't want iTunes. But as you can see, it's plugged in. My MacBook is here. I'm going to open Nightshade. So as you can see, it says jailbreak now. Let me go ahead. Nightshade. I'm going to have it. No, wait. No. I didn't want to click start. Um, <laughs> Nightshade. There. I'm going to click jailbreak now. Downloading files. Unzipping. Opening jailbreak tool. Starting the tool. Unlock the phone. Alright. Oh, it actually gave me an error. It just says it just it's just red where it says starting the tool. Alright. Let me try it downstairs because I last time I did this it was downstairs. The downstairs computer worked, then we try it down there. Alright, so let me try it here. Oh, it's working. Okay. Waiting for reboot. Plug into the MacBook real quick. Put it in DFU. Even though it has the spinning circle, I'm not gonna wait for it to shut down. Click start. You can see, not even plugged in. It's plugged into that. It's not plugged in. See, just proof. Done, okay. As soon as it says done, you can just unplug it. Plug it back into the computer so if it reconnects, it's basically good. Close the MacBook. Waiting for reboot. Ah, oh, reconnected. Copying essentials. And it and it does reboot at the end, but then it's done, so you don't have to reboot it again, then plug it back in. Performing magic. Copying Cydia. Okay. That's good. Here's proof that it is my iPhone 5. Yeah, I don't really care. Now, I don't know if this works with iOS 7, because I know with iOS 7, you have to open an app, and it might open the app, and it might say, like, cannot copy essentials, or might not, because it, it says, okay, it's tethered or something, or maybe it'll have to reboot and copy, or, I don't know, it just, I don't think it'll work. Um, iOS 8 probably won't, because it'll have to kickstart, or not kick, it'll have to run an exploit, which I know will not work with tethered devices. Running helper. And it is rebooted. And yeah. Jailbreak succeeded. Let's plug it into the MacBook. And uh, put the phone down. Let's see if we got Cydia. 
Now, iOS 6 is definitely the easiest one to do it because you just have to do that thing once. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, and it will reboot after this. Hold on. Like, it'll have a text at the bottom saying... Uh, post success and then it will reboot and then go back into recovery which is normal and then have the boot tethered again see if it does that that's normal then you have to do put it back in dfu so so don't think oh it didn't boot up it's not good no that's normal so back in dfu click back Boot tethered, start. And you only have to do that once, and then now it should boot up. Because I was just doing like it was, it was just loading everything. Now it should actually boot up. I mean, it might still say post success, but it should actually boot up. Yeah, it's it's see how it still says post success. But it's actually booting up now, so we're good. <laughs> yep, they're definitely good. Let's see, do we have City? Let me quit Nightshade. We do. Is it openable? It is. All right. We are perfect. We are perfectly good. This, I mean, it's not untethered, even though I did install an untethered jailbreak. It didn't make the untethered boot. But, but again, that's totally normal because there's no SHSH blobs. But uh, yeah, that's one way to jailbreak. <laughs>